let's see another interesting gungaku, another interesting strategy from the season northern to, from the tradition of the season, the season culture. And in this case, we are. Uh, I will explain about what it's fukumi ho ho. Uh, fukumi uh, means like a hidden uh, meaning because it, we will employ hidden ways to surprise the enemy. And this ho ho is composed by two kanji that uh, compound, and in the both the meaning is like a way. Uh, like an uh, applied way and this manner it will be different depending on the master then in this and this explanation that I will be uh, explaining to you I will use a kaginawa that it's a rope with a with a hook in the in the tip that it will show very fast ways to to control the the enemy this fukumi ho ho were uh, used in violent techniques like uh, like uh, uh, onigumo and kumuito as a way to also uh, perform these sequences, these ways to uh, restrain the enemy with the rope but it will be different to other studies what, that we have explained before because in this, ca in this case we will be using the element surprise because uh, we will employ these techniques as a third person. Uh, imagine that an enemy is trying to, to attack, uh, following, trying to attack an enemy, and what we will do is to appear from the saddles, appear from some place that uh, the enemy is not expecting, and surprising with a violent technique, and also will be restrained at the end. They used to employ the same clothes, the same clothes, the same mask, as a way to also, when the enemy, if he survives to the to the to, to this technique or to this method, he will be coming back to the to the to the other to the enemy line and will say that he was attacked by demons because they try to be uh, to to look alike one to the other and this is uh, surprising for the enemy because two men will be acting like one but surprising in different positions and when one is attacking the other is hiding away then uh, this is a very interesting gungaku and I will try to explain one of the characteristical uh, one, one sequence, one idea and uh, try to explain more characteristics about this method. Imagine that in this case I have on my left uh, Sensei Rebecca, nice mask, and she will be trying to find uh, one of my partners, or my fellow uh, partners, sees them, and uh, the, my friend is running away by this line, and I am maybe covered from this position maybe hiding uh, behind a rock, behind um, a, a bush and what I will do is when uh, she is trying to walk, to follow what I will do is I will sorry, in order that the, the, the camera from here I will go inside entering with a violent technique to this point Take a look that when she is walking or maybe she is scaring to don't uh, lose what uh, my partner, what I will is attack with a uh, like a, like an ariet striking on the knee and also making a joint lock, also throwing her to the ground. At the same time, what I will do is I will pass the kaginawa around in order to have this and from here I have this position this is what guarantees because my Nawa it's uh, hide on uh, it's high on my sobe and from here when she's trying to walk I enter and from here throw her to the ground to this point that this will break the knee from here the key it's to be a skill enough to at the same time passing to the other side. When I have roll over, pass to the other side, 
having a uh, trying to uh, pull on the on the rope and also gain this position. From here, what I will do is I pass from here and pass. Take a look and also pass the rope completely. Of course, I am doing slow because this is very, very painful. And what will happen here when I have done here, it's she will try to protect herself here. At the same time, I am trying, sorry, release a little for not harming you. Yes, sorry, sorry. Okay, right now, grab it. From here, I will escape. This is my position of control on first time. And after that, I will retreat also for having this powerful control. From here, a step on the rope. One, two, in order to gain control on the enemy. From here, grip, grab the other hand, put close to the other, and from here, when I have this, pass around, and I have this control. Of course, after that, what I will do is to make an ending knot and with here we could maybe hand or we could go around. Take a look that we have here the kagi, the hook here, and at the same time she is controlled by this hand that is trying to protect uh, her own neck and the other here. This is a very powerful technique because with that we could pull with a violent way, with a violent traction and we'll also uh, choke and also uh, get very painful in this point. Remember that the knee here will, will be broken then after the uh, upper, upper extension on the knee. Also this movement will be breaking the knee when we are getting more traction here. And here we have full control on both arms as this way, this technique of control. I release for not uh, injuring more we're getting pain to so Sensei Rebecca right now, okay? Then you are free to take out. Then, if you could see uh, the characteristics for Kagina one, is because if uh, this is trained uh, a lot of times in order to gain control of having this in a very powerful, for example, from here to having this in very powerful and fast way to do it. One more time, having and from here having control. This and this is applied in several ways. Depending on the uh, position, maybe this also breaking. We have one and from here passing to the other side and also gaining control, maybe to the neck and whatever. Here we could fall to the ground, breaking the knee, etc. And following with this kind of walk that will be a surprising method in order to avoid that the enemy cuts my partner and employing the element surprise as I have been explained before. I hope that you have enjoyed as I, I, I did. Uh, thank you very much and see you on next videos.